happy, oh. happy with the result? <laughs> oh, look, not really. It's very disappointing. The game didn't really reach any, any heights. Um, we went 1 0 up, a couple of minutes to go. Poor decision by one of our centre backs. It was a great finish from, from, a, from a free kick. So, very frustrating game. But if I had a pay to come and watch it, I probably would, I probably would have been disappointed. So, um, but just, yeah, it was really a battle of the midfields. Um, and, you know, we've got uh, a Utah Towns in there. He's a, he's a quality young kid. Really, uh, really impressed with him. Um, Harry Tanners did a fantastic job, Canter. Um, our front three too were really hard because uh, City stretches from time to time. City, but Zebra stretches from, from time to time. So, yeah, it dis disappointing that we were 1 0 up with a couple of minutes to go and sort of more than fair, I think, that they did finish one off. Um, agree with your thoughts on, on uh, it being more of a defensive game and, and a battle of the midfields. Um, interested in who you thought your better players were? Yeah, look, I thought um, our front three did, did, did really well. With limited opportunities, um, Zeb's back forward defended really well. Cooper was great. I think mean, a couple of times he got, he got his fingers to a couple of shots and pushed them on the post, so it was a great night for him. Um, our, our midfield three were great. Look, really, the whole team played well. I know they're sort of back to primary school days, but um, everybody played their role, and we just came up against a very determined um, Zebra side tonight, and it was, it was a battle. All right, Chris, uh, interested in your thoughts on the game? Yeah, look, from our perspective, I thought that it's probably the best football we've played for a while, possession-wise. Um, you know, the conditions, the slippery conditions and that, you, you're going to miss time a couple of balls and that, all that sort of stuff. But I, I thought we looked a lot more composed with our possession tonight than we have in the past. Um, I think, you know, probably in the last three or four games we've tried to force the ball in, in, in areas where we don't really need to. So I thought that was good, but, you know... To me, both sides, um, I thought you know it was going to be one shot in it because there weren't many shots at all. Um, it was a midfield game, kept on breaking down. I thought both defences were, were good uh, and held up well. And um, yeah, so um, you know, one point got, got that late goal. Um, so the guys didn't drop their head. Um, Interesting your thoughts on who your better players were today? Ah, uh, look, I'll be honest with you, I haven't really, I haven't really considered it. Um, I thought everybody stood up. Um, like I said, I mean, our, our back ones, I think, has been tremendous um, right through the whole season. I think they've they've held up pretty well. Um, but uh, yeah, um, I think was, from our perspective, I really can't pick out a standout player. Do you think it uh, costs you guys going forwards having Jaden playing centre back, or just having that creative outlet going forward? Look, it could do, but. You know, we, we also need to, what he, what he adds to us is he adds speed to us on the break. Um, and and I think a bit of composure as well. Um, sometimes he gets over composed and, and uh, when he's too relaxed he'll play a bad ball and that. But generally, generally I think he's the right fit there for us at the moment. I think, you know, bringing in Harrow, um, you know, into that number 10 role gives us a, a, a really good ball player. Um, and to be honest with you, you know, up until when we decided to move him back, um, I think teams were marking him out of games a lot. So I think it gives him a bit more time facing the way that we're going. Um, woes, woes up front, you're not scoring too many goals recently. No, any, we're not. Any idea how you can fix it? To be honest with you, no. I mean, we, do, we just keep on working on it. So I, th I think the guys have got to get their confidence, got to get their heads up, and, you know, it only takes. It only takes you know a third of the goal to have a shot, and I, I just don't think we're doing that. I think we're trying to set up the perfect goal, the perfect shot. Um, interestingly enough, tonight, you know, I was pleased with when we got the ball out. We played, you know, when we played the earlier balls in, I thought we looked menacing in that. In that. And we haven't done that for a while. We tend to get it out wide and then hold hold on to it, and defences get back and all that sort of stuff. But we've just got to keep on working on it. I mean, we've got good players up front, and they're just down on form. I mean. The goal that Ethan scored was a good goal, it was a set-piece goal, but that should give him confidence, I'm hoping, moving forward. Um, good to have Kurt back in the side as well, and hopefully building into some, some form coming in yeah, the look, few games. To be honest with you, yeah, I mean, he, we've really lacked penetration down the flanks, and I think that you know it was obvious that he gave us that tonight. We probably didn't expect to play him for 90 minutes, um, but he looked like he was fine, so we kept on playing him. and. Yeah, look, I think he was certainly a good added bonus. 
Ricky Self played today in the in the twos, um, and he had a very very good game down at Kingborough. So, you know, he's another one that we'll probably bring into the squad next week. Um, and he's another flanker, and, and Ricky's a very intelligent player. So, all right, that's it. Thanks, Chris. thank you. I'd like to thank my mum and dad. And, yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs>